Oh my gosh. I, honestly, you got me a little bit nervous. I, as you should, as you should be, because I feel like this is not me right now during this podcast because my library, you can look at the archives of how I feel about this particular character. Okay, okay. I, I see where you're going with this. I see where you're going. Okay. And for me to have praise for this character, yeah, I need to like check my temperature or something, bro. Make sure I ain't tripping. <laughs> this no, man, this hey, freaking show is amazing, bro. Hey, man, look, look, you you can you can grow and you can change and you can you can like me change. That part, you know what I mean? I ain't changed that. <laughs> I ain't able to change that much. Well, this, well, welcome back, guys, to another episode of the New Black Nerds Podcast. I'm your host, Chris. AKA Prince with the homie Duran, AKA Menet Grizzly. Duran, how we doing? I, I I'm in Twilight Zone, bro. I, I'm a, I'm not sure how I'm feeling right now. I, I don't know. Normally it's good. What's good, people? How you doing? Thank y'all for watching. I like a Superman show, bro. Yeah, times. Like I'm living. saying, it's live. Like if y'all don't know, HBO Max is like I said from last week. We had the Batman. Uh, animation out they also dropped the superman series and boy i tell you they drop some stuff they they are they are the king of animations and, and you know something this was like unless i just have not been paying attention this was like out of the blue everything lately now the blue like hbo max is, has i don't see any like no instagram commercial there's no real, real commercial anymore so like any pop was like oh new show here nothing I've seen tons of the Barbie movies, all that kind of stuff. I've seen nothing about HBO Max dropping this very fun show, bro. Yeah. It is fun. Yeah. (laughs) So, guys, if you I mean, if you guys have not picked up by now, we are talking about the new animated show on Max called My Adventures with Superman. It's an animated Superman show um, about the very early days of Clark and Lois and Jimmy Olsen at the daily planet when they i mean they're literally interns in episode one so like we're starting at the beginning of superman's career here um and bro i gotta say i mean again like coming from someone who is not a big superman fan we should join this Let, let's put it how it is for the fans to know historically for the longest i can have known prince superman has been on earth bottom list of people we care for um yes so the point we're like i'm really watching this i'm gonna watch it i'm gonna like blow it up how bad it is how terrible show this is. bro i watched all three episodes like straight and i was like what's the next one I, it's is- really good it's really good and and like what i what i like i think most about it and this is something that i think i think they are dropping this purposely off the heels of the live action Superman news. I think this is going to be the kind of feel that they want to go for, for their new Superman. Right. Um, Which I'm going to contradict myself here a little bit, but I really like this show because of kind of like the going back to like the roots of Superman, like the kind of like very like boyish charm and kind of like very happy go lucky and not, not super serious, like very playful. Right. Not kitty by any means, but, but very playful. Um, whereas the previous iteration of Superman we had was had a, a complete tonal shift from what you know mass audiences of Superman is used to, right? Agree. Which is weird because I love, I still love Henry Cavill as Superman to this day. Still, That's like a grown him. up Superman versus like you're trying to now start a new universe. Mm-hmm. Henry is what we've been waiting for years and years and finally got. Mm-hmm. But he's not what you start off with. He's not your avatar. No, no, no. And and I I I I like the tone that they're going with this show because I feel like this is more along the lines of what James Gunn wants to do with Superman Legacy. Right? It's gonna be more in this vein. It's not gonna be I think we are going to have like a, another complete tonal shift from the Man of Steel version of Superman. I hope that they don't go too far on the other side of the spectrum. Like I still want there to be some stakes because it's incredibly difficult to have stakes 
when you're doing a Superman project, yeah. right? And that was, I, I, I can't speak for you, but that's definitely been one of the main reasons why I could never really mess with Superman like that growing up was because he's indestructible. Like there's nothing at any point are you concerned that he's going to lose the day. Just that little green rock. <laughs> Besides that little green rock, which apparently every other person in fucking Metropolis has. But also, like you said yourself, like you don't want James Gunn is he's on a different spectrum to some people's um, taste buds. So you think that every film is going to be the Harley Quinn films? That's what you expect, right. but you don't want that for certain characters. And Superman is that character where like he has to be mid. He has to be the, the neutral party of everything. If Batman's dark, he has to be the light. That's just what Superman is. He's yep. always been the guy that's the the code, keeps everything there, straightforward, not being rules. Even when he's trying to an episode when he's rescuing Lois Lane, they got it right. But that's that's the Lois Lane I want. That's yeah. spot on from the appearance to everything about her. That's what I want. That's because it makes it makes you feel like Superman's character is the great beyond. But Clark Kent is that guy that follows and is learning and still he's not a human. He's still learning these things and having right. him like almost as like a shadow and it's like being the, the good charming guy. Even when he saved Lois, he had the his back to her with the hoodie over his head. Like he didn't want to show anything was going on. Seeing the fear of him trying to find out who his heritage was and how his mom was about to fall down there and his reaction to like this stuff still scares me. So it was just a really cool thing to see the just the overall kindness of Superman that right. you've seen that portrayed in the animation. And the art was clean, bro. Like yeah, the even arts, like the, the they did copy amazing. Sailor Moon. They did copy Sailor Moon though. I will say that right now. Sailor Moon's entrance with the suit. If you watch them verbatim, that's exactly <laughs> what that is. But that's hilarious. Like now, now that I now that I think about that, I can't is. see it. I can't it's see Sailor it. Moon. It's Sailor Moon. Yeah. But pay homage to the goat, one of the goats there. But um, it was so freaking like it was refreshing, bro. Just watching this show, and I'm like, I have to say positive things about Superman. And I'm not yeah. mad about it. Yeah. You know, you, you use a word there, refreshing, that I feel like is it it's such a big deal for DC yeah. right now and the current state of DC. Like we need something refreshing. We need something that we can just go, oh man, isn't this nice? This is nice. This is just <laughs> this is just good, man. Like it's it's not blowing you away of like, oh my God, this is the greatest thing I've ever watched. But it's yeah, like you said, it's refreshing. It's it's a very it's it's a breath of fresh air, you know? And this is something that DC needs so badly right now to start to, to develop some more goodwill from the fans because they're not, I mean, we saw what happened with flash and the flash is not a terrible movie, but that shit bombed. And it's just because of years of a track record of them putting out dog shit and then coming out and saying, Hey, none of this shit matters anyways, because we're rebooting the universe. Mm -hmm. So people, I mean, Audiences, by and large, have just completely checked out of DC. And it's going to yeah. be shows like this that are going to bring in a, a a fresh perspective on DC Comics and their, you know, their new universe. It just goes to show you that, like, the people's there. Like, the storytelling that we need inside of a DC or a comic book studio, period, they're there. You need to get off of the office of trying to hire these marquee actors and go down there to the second floor, third floor, where the people who actually made these stories and ask them, yo, if you did a live taping, who would you put in this role? Because the way you wrote this story is exactly how I want to put it out there. That's right. what you need to start doing. Like, I understand this whole day. I got to have a name. I got to have his name. No, it's not all about that sometimes. It's about actually having the charisma and what the character stands for. And this, my friend, is what the Superman that I want to see. Yep. It's only three episodes in. Episodes are only 20 minutes of a pop. So it's it's very quick to watch for you guys that have not watched yet. I don't know when the next episode comes out, bro, but I'm look, I'll am i be watching for it. I'm definitely looking forward to the next episode. And just, I don't know, I'm happy. I'm happy to say that this is, 
this is it's and, good. This is good. You know, and again, this is the feeling you're supposed to get watching Superman. Yeah. Like like you said, you're just happy. You're happy to watch it. You're happy to watch it. You're just happy to watch it. Where like again, I love Henry Cavill as Superman. I thought his take on Superman was extremely underrated. I think Man of Steel was one of the most underrated comic book movies that's ever been released. Yes. But you don't get this same feeling watching yeah. his iteration of Superman. I damn now I think about it, yo. I don't think this tone has been achieved in any DC movie in the past five years. I think the tone of this animation was successful. They tried in Shazam and they fell flat in her face. They went too far with that. Um, this is like, this is the spot. Like if you had your, like your RPMs, like, Hey, I'm going to stand right here. This is I'm standing right here. Just, just stay right. there and coast. You're good. You don't need to do anything else. Like you need to literally take, we already talked about Batman animation series, make that a movie. Superman right to right now. Take that. Just just take these little pieces you already have, my friend, and carry and I, on. And I, and I do, and, and to that point, I do think James Gunn's Superman Legacy is going to be very similar in tone to this because oh, the setting is almost true. exactly the same. Like you said, it's not going to be an origin story, but it's going to be Clark's early days at the Daily Planet, right? So we're still, still figuring out how to be Superman. Like I don't think, I don't think we're going to see him put on his uniform for the first time. And yeah. Superman legacy, like I think he's gonna have already been acting as Superman, um, or at least that's what the reports say. But again, just the feeling and the tone, and just like the 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 overall aesthetic, I think it's gonna be very similar to the show. And I'm I'm looking forward to. It. I mean, I'm looking forward to the rest of this. I mean, I'm only three episodes in. You're three episodes in. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the rest of this this series. I want to see where they're gonna go with it. Like what other Superman characters they're going to bring in. Like, I, every episode, I'm, like, waiting for Lex. You know what I mean? I'm like, where's, yeah, and, I'm like, where's Lex? And you know what's crazy right now? Even they had, like, the little joke Smallville. Like you said, they made the joke in there. Like, they're, they're paying homage to things in the past. Um, it also makes you think that James Gunn do this on purpose. Did he not announce this and just put it out there to see the fan reaction? Because then it, it, my name's not attached to it, and it's not successful, eh, no harm, no foul. Right. But if it is successful and I see what people like, then I know to make sure the way I'm writing goes in this particular tone. It's like a social experiment. And yeah. damn it, he's doing good. If we're and talking about something, because, he's and you really do good. It because it's, it's, a, it's an animation too. So it's not like, yeah. it's not going to get the spotlight that like, if you did like a live action series of something would get, right? Because like a lot of people are probably... There's going to be a lot of people in the fan that are not going to check it out just because it's it's a cartoon. You know yeah. what I mean? Which That's is dumb. Which is dumb, especially when you consider yeah. when you consider that this is based off of a comic book. You'll watch the live action of a cartoon adaption, but you won't watch the cartoon of a cartoon adaption. Sounds really, it really sounds bad. really stupid. Yeah, but does, anyways, yeah. we're not. We're not going to go I, there. Yo, I, I encourage everyone to watch this. Um, it's kid friendly. Um, you could definitely watch it with your young young kids. They want to. If this was the first time a young lad or anybody in your family wants to actually watch something like, yo, who's Superman? This is the perfect way of doing it. This is I. Bravo! I'm just I'm just happy. I am very very happy for what I've seen so far. Uh, hopefully they don't drop the ball. They can find a way to land this thing. Um, I want to know what's next. Could DC drop two back to back things that are? Yeah, I would rewatch. They're like they're rewatchable. There's things you watch. You're like, eh, whatever. I would rewatch the Doom again, and I've rewatched uh, these yep. Superman's again. Yeah, and you know, I I got a question for you because I mean, uh, again, we're not huge Superman fans, so like, yeah. I don't, I I don't have as much of a off the top memory of Superman comics. Um, yeah. Some of the characters in it. There's one guy in here with like these two little like almost like escrima sticks like Nightwing. Yes. But he has white hair and they called him Slade. You think that's Deathstroke? I don't know. I that was, I will that say my, this though. that was my first guess. Was like, is this when we get done to be Slade? When we get done the pod, I want you to go back and I want you to watch the opening credits again. And then when they go into flashing the actual my 
um, Adventures, and then pause it. You see like different figures of different people, and one looks like Deathstroke. Mm, so maybe that is him. I'm I just mean, saying. Here's that my thing. I, I mean, like, and I think his colors wearing, also. I think he was wearing orange in one and one like black and orange. So like, I'm like, come on, like this is this is DC Comics still, guys. Like, you don't give someone white hair wearing yes. black and orange and call him Slade. Like, there's it's no other Slades in the comics. It's intentional. Yeah, it's intentional, and like especially this is like an animation series that they want to do for a couple years. Like this is, this is nice. I'm I'm right. I'm happy. I, I'm looking forward to this. I'm like this. This is the content that I like talking about. I, I just enjoy this so much. Yeah, man. Again, like like we said, it's it's fresh. It's new. I'm yeah. enjoying it. Deron's enjoying it. I hope you guys are too. Uh, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Um, you know, with your friends, and and let us know where you guys think this is going. If you guys think that's actually Deathstroke, um, pre Deathstroke, I'm excited to see where this thing is going to go. We'll definitely be back to review a couple more episodes uh, of this show as it as it continues to come out. Um, you know, and and we'll, you know, I, again, I'm just I haven't been this excited about like a a random DC property project in a long time, man. That's no, oh, yeah. Again, it's refreshing. It is, and um, yeah, I might go live next time they go there, y'all. Just to, as I, I, people need to know about this. They need to know about HBO Max and what they're doing. Yeah, they need agreed, know, so. agreed, because their their animation studio is is unmatched, and it's been unmatched for some time. And if you guys are there. not checking out what the DC animated universe has to offer, you need to get on Max and check it out. Just think about it. This thing about it right now, if you don't know anything about DC, HBO. It's a powerhouse. It's powerhouse for years. They were mm-hmm. okay with the CW doing live action films and making their own, but they were not okay with giving away the rights to the action animations. That tells you right there. There is a mm-hmm. section that DC with just that alone. They were doing live action also. People said, oh, they weren't doing live action. They did Doom Patrol. They were doing other live actions, but the consistency of this animation production team, man, you guys should get a raise. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> well, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Um, let us know what you thought or what you guys think so far of this show. Uh, we'll definitely be back to do more episodes here. But uh, I've been Prince Deron. It's a pleasure as always, bro. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.